Well, cruisers are ready to get back out on the open waters after a two-year-long hiatus. And, of course, this is, the demand is stronger than ever. In celebration of Maritime Day this Sunday, we're taking a look at how the return of the cruise industry is giving the local tourism industry a boost. Eric is joining us live with the details. Eric? Guys, and, and you're right, the pandemic was awful on the cruise industry, but here in New Orleans, it is back. Uh, all the ships that were here before are back. The cruise industry is, is, is doing well, and we have Jim Shosefsky, uh with Concord Shore Services, and uh, you are kind of like the, the, the first company that, that is, is greeting passengers when they get here. That is correct. We, uh, we're the face of the cruise lines, as I always say, the face of Carnival, Royal Caribbean. Uh, we're there to greet the passengers. Welcome to New Orleans. Uh, we do the transportation logistics. We have about 150 employees here in New Orleans, and we're here to make sure that they have an enjoyable stay, make sure they have the right documents, they get through all their testing. So all the welcoming and stuff like that when you get on a cruise ship, you guys handle all that. That is correct. We do the whole piece all the way till you get on the cruise ship. And what was it like during the pandemic? I mean, what did you guys do then? Well, um, not much. We, we didn't do much at all. Uh, obviously, we were, it was gone for two years. Um, and so, you know, it was just like everybody else. We were staying home, we were batting the hatches, and we were holding out and waiting for, you know, us to get back to work. Because this is a big economic impact on, on New Orleans, and really the region, the cruise industry is big here. It's massive, it really is. It is it's, it's hard to uh, put those numbers fully. I mean, there's $125 million of impact. The parking is amazing. But the one thing that I know from hotel industry, as you know, is huge in New Orleans and hospitality, is that a cruise ship that holds 4,000 passengers is bringing 8,000 passengers every time it comes in. So in the months, the summer months, where it is the slowest, the dog days of New Orleans, yeah. we're bringing in 21,000 new people into New Orleans every week. And is it like that now? We said that the cruise ships were all back. Are, I mean, people are still concerned about COVID, and we were in kind of another... Uh, uh, a phase of it now. It is. The numbers are through the roof. Um, they're maxed out. As a matter of fact, starting this next week, all You're the talking about cruisers. I'm talking about cruisers. Okay, not COVID. Not COVID. Uh, we haven't had any incidents, really. I mean, we might have one every two, three weeks where a passenger might have COVID. But other than that, it's pretty much, as you consider, it's eradicated in a, in a normal environment because everybody's still going through the protocols. We're still testing. Yeah. We're still making sure everybody's vaccinated. So it's a very safe environment for the crew as well as for the passengers. And the cruise industry here in New Orleans actually is growing. It is growing. As a matter of fact, Royal Caribbean announced that they were coming back earlier than what they had projected. So they're coming back in uh, November of this year, and we'll have Norwegian Cruise Lines. We'll have two Carnival cruise ships, which are year-round, which is the anchor. They've been cruising here for 27 years and actually celebrated their 50th anniversary this year. And we're also talking about Disney, too. Disney returned as well, and then they doubled and increased the amount of sailings here in New Orleans from this past year. So uh, they got through. They enjoyed what we provided as far as safety protocols for the passengers out of New Orleans. Obviously, New Orleans is just more than cruising. It's a vacation within a vacation. Who doesn't want to come to New Orleans? You saw what we did with the Final Four. It's amazing. And we do that every day here on the port with the cruise line. And how big can the cruise industry get here in New Orleans? I mean, how much more growth can you guys handle? Well, the one thing that we have uh, to grow back into is those ports of call. So people enjoy, and I see this also on the schedule, ships coming back to spend nights enjoying just New Orleans. So they'll cruise up the river and they'll stay for two or three days and use New Orleans as a tour explosion. So you bring 1,000 people, that's all they do is spend money in the city. All right, Jim, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thank you. All right, back to you guys. Uh, a cruise sounds like a lot of fun right now.